Hi friends, uh, today I am here to discuss about uh, one of the most important topics about the defense that is about the newly launched ship by the US that is USS Gerald Ford. Uh, talking on this, uh, presently introducing who is Gerald Ford, for your kind information I would like to inform you that uh, Gerald Rudolph Ford was the 38th President of the United States of America. Uh, why I am here with a b why, with this video because uh, talking on this aircraft carrier, I think uh, this could be a game changing in in most of the wars like the uh, most conflicted war between North and the South Korea about uh, about the South China Sea war. These these uh, Asian wars would be a global threat and and it and and I believe that USS Gerald Ford would. Uh, prove itself in this war if 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 there is a war uh, on this matter uh, and 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 i and, and and i am from india so i like to compare about the uh, uh, between between the aircraft carriers of ins vikram aditya and ess gerald fold uh, talking about the displacement of the two first of all ins vikram aditya has displacement of 45400 tons uh, and and of the Gerald Alford is one, more than one lakh tons. That is, uh, you know, more than double is the displacement. Uh, talking about the fuel, what they used uh, for 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 the further further information, I would like to inform you that uh, uh, INS Bikram Aditya run on the diesel engine, but on the other hand, VSS Gerald R Ford run on uh, nuclear based reactors. That is, they doesn't need refueling. Mm, uh, uh, and their service ceiling uh, and if they uh, goes in, in in the sea they doesn't need refueling or some some kind of maintenance before 20 to 25 years and talking on the other end INS Vikram Aditya has to be refueled after 45 days of working uh, uh, that is the game changing uh, things that are coming because nuclear based uh, aircraft carriers uh, doesn't need uh, no uh, lot of maintenance and refueling and it would be a game changing talking about the speed uh, uh, the Gerald Alford maximum speed is 56 uh, km per hour and INS Bikram Aditya matches with that, that kind of speed uh, talking about the aircraft carried uh, as there are uh, t uh, displacement are double so this could be a double because INS Vikram Aditya carried maximum of 30 36 aircraft carriers but USS Gerald Fold would accommodate maximum of 75 plus aircraft carrier and I think that uh, F-35 uh, fighter planes uh, uh, with with uh, F uh, the most steel fighter plane in the world combined with the most advanced aircraft carrier could be a game changing a type of armament that are used by the uh, Gerald Alford are also very astonishing like uh, they use about the reams 162 and uh, and CIWS more advanced CIWS uh, come in weapon system that is if if any aircraft carrier uh, cracked the outer defense line then CIWS would be a uh, much more effective weapon uh, and uh, now the main thing about the cost uh, if I would uh, I would like to inform you that uh, in US INS Bikram Aditya cost only dollar 2.35 billion but on the other hand uh, uh, USS Graal fault cost more than 17 billion US dollar combining R&D and the cost of the materials uh, uh, used uh, and I think that uh, my final con conclusion about USS Graal Ford is that uh, not only me I believe that these kind of things but also all the techno technological uh, arena of the world and the global scientist which works on the defense equipments believes that up to this time, up to this time, 2017, USS Gerald Ford would be the most advanced aircraft carrier of the world, and it is a game-changing weapon, uh, uh, defense equipment. Thank you. Thanks a lot.